hey guys hello and welcome to another video so we were working on this omni script where we have created this radio button and we want to save this data that is the prim primary contact data into the org so we are going to complete this whole omni script in this video so this video will be a bit long so let me take you through what we are going to do in this video so first of all we will get the data like the data will be dependent on these radio blocks so whatever like if we will select the update primary contact it will it should send the data from this block only if we will select the change it will send the data from this block only so we are going to get that data from this one so for that we need to go to the preview so here you can see we have provided this context id and it is getting some data okay so what happen if we will click on this next so this is the ip which is getting called when we are previewing this okay that is the first ip to get the account primary contact details which is the lian tomlin for the acme so if you will click on the next it will call the next integration procedure so what this integration procedure is doing let me open this so inside this request data you can see if i will expand this you can see that this json contains all the data which is available inside that step so that is basically a step contacts that is the whole step inside that we have the update primary contact which contains the id the email and name which was displaying here and there was another block that change primary contact and create primary contact but those the value for those was not there because we have not selected that radio so it is null and the radio value is update primary contact and apart from those we have also the account id so what we can do is we can copy this whole json from here and let me paste it inside a notepad so i will paste it here okay let me go back to this one so now now we have this data like update primary contact details all the details when we are selecting the update primary contact let me go back to the design and again if i will preview this one so if i will preview this again let me close this one so again it is calling that get primary contact detail which is to get the details this one now if i will go to this change primary contact here and if i will select anyone like this uh, previous one was lian tomlin so let me select the howard jones if i will select this and if i will click on the next again it will save again it will call the this one the save primary contact details so if i will expand this if i will go to the request data so again here you can see for this time the update primary contact is null and the block change primary contact is now available okay because we have selected the change primary contact so what we can do here is instead of the copying whole data we can copy this block only we can copy this block and if i um, i will go back to this one and instead of this block change primary contact i will paste that data okay so inside this step contact we have this update primary contact data and we have this change primary contact okay so we have both this data and we are left with this create primary contact so let me go back to this one and if i will again refresh it let me close this one this time i will select the create primary contact and uh, in these well fields i will select anything like whatever we want for email we have to provide a valid email so i will use a at the rate g mail.com and if i will press next again it will call the save primary contact detail and this time it will get the data for the create one so let me expand this so you can see those two blocks are now null and it is getting the data for the create primary contact so this time i will copy this data and i will go to the notepad and instead of this null i will paste this data okay 
सो नाउ दिस इज अ वैलिड जेसन वॉट वी वॉन्ट फॉर द इंटीग्रेशन प्रोसीजर सो लेट मी गो बैक टू दिस वन लेट्स गो बैक टू द डिजाइन लेट्स क्लोज दिस वन सो हेयर यू कैन सी वी हैव दिस आई पी विच इज कॉलिंग दिस टीम सेव प्राइमरी कॉन्टैक्ट डिटेल्स सो लेट मी ओपन दिस वन वी हैव हेयर द थ्री डेटा रैप्टर पोस्ट एक्शन बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू सेव द डेटा एंड दीज थ्री डेटा रैप्टर्स विल बी कॉल्ड इंडिविजुअली ओके एंड विल बी कॉल्ड कंडीशनली बिकॉज एट वन टाइम वी वॉन्ट टू आइदर वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट वी वॉन्ट टू चेंज और वी वॉन्ट टू एडिट दैट प्राइमरी कॉन्टैक्ट डिटेल सो दिस वन इज डी आर अपडेट प्राइमरी कॉन्टैक्ट सो लेट मी क्लिक ऑन दिस वन सो यू कैन सी हियर दैट वी आर एग्जीक्यूटिंग दिस डेटा रैप्टर ओनली वेन वी वेन वी हैव दी स्टेप कॉन्टैक्ट रेडियो प्राइमरी कॉन्टैक्ट इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू अपडेट ओके सो लेट मी गो बैक टू दिस जेसन हेयर यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव वी डोंट हैव दैट वैल्यू वी डोंट हैव दिस रेडियो प्राइमरी कॉन्टैक्ट ओके वी हैव दिस स्टेप कॉन्टैक्ट सो वी हैव दिस स्टेप कॉन्टैक्ट बट इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट रेडियो प्राइमरी कॉन्टैक्ट वी हैव द रेडियो ओनली so i will use this radio from here so that that formula will work so i will copy this one i will paste it here i cannot paste it here because this integration procedure is already active so first of all i have to deactivate it now let me go back to that one and let's edit that executional condition so instead of this radio primary contact we should have only radio so let's remove this so we have the radio and in we have the different value we have the block update primary contact we don't have anything like change or update so instead of this one we will use this okay so now this data adapter will be executed only when we have this step contact and radio is equal to block update primary contact let's go to the second one so we have this uh, change primary contact so if i will go to this you can see we have the same thing here like step contact radio primary change and change okay so let's go back to this so we have the step contact the radio primary contact so we don't have radio so i will select this radio only and instead of this radio primary contact i have to use only radio instead of the change we have to use this block change primary contact so i will copy this one and i will paste it here block change primary contact okay same way we have to edit the last one instead of this one we have to use on the radio so i will use radio and instead of this create i have to use block create primary contact so i will use block create primary contact so now it will be executed based on the radio button selection okay so let's go back to this post action the first one which is the update primary contact so we don't have any data adapter interface so we have to create one so i will create a new data adapter here and i will name it as data adapter update so here you can see that data adapter update is created so let's go back to this one so we have this update where and what what we are going to update we are going to update the primary contact details let's go back to this one to see what we are going to actually update so you can see that this is the primary contact name and primary contact email so we are going to update these values so basically we are updating the contact object so we have to select the contact object so i will search the contact object here contact object and let's go to the fields inside this fields we need to have this input json and we have we do have that input json from where we can get that we need to go to this ip and if i will preview this so we don't have any data here so how we can get this data and what what is this data basically 
so this data will be basically coming from this omni script and we have already created that data so let's copy all this data and we will paste this inside this one okay so this is the data basically let's remove this one so this will be a valid json structure okay and it will be executed based on this radio one so this is the update primary contact and this is what we have we want to create now so i will let it be the update primary contact and if i will execute this you will see that this data raptor update primary contact is only running we do have those two data raptor also but the only one which is executed is the update primary contact because we have used the conditional formula there because this radio value is equal to update primary contact so only data raptor update is executing and how we can check the uh, inputs for this one we need to go to this debug so here you can see that we are having this input so what i can do here is i can copy this data from here okay i can copy this data from here and i need to go to this data raptor and instead of this whole json i need to provide this one only so this update name update email and update contact id is basically the part of the contact let's go back to this quick match so here you can see the we have the output mapping for all the contact so the update contact id is part of the id only that is basically the id so i will select the contact id and i will map it with this contact id we have this email id so i will map it with the update email and we do have the name so i will map it with the name okay so you can see that all the mappings are done if i will go to the preview and if i will provide the same details here what happen if we will execute this let's see if we will execute this it will update the name as lian tomlin email as this one so let's open this contact in a new tab to see whether it is updating the data or not so you can see the name is lian tomlin and the email id is this one now if we will edit any of these data like lian tomlin at the rate gmail.com so if i will execute it again you will notice that the data is changing in the salesforce org you can see that the email is now changed to at the rate gmail.com okay that means this dr update is now working so let's go back to this ip so this one is working now we can check this from this preview also okay so these are the data now again i am selecting the same thing and the email id is at the rate acme.com if i will execute it again we don't have any response so we need to go to this one so actually this is showing that the upsort success is equal to true and the email id is this and id is this one more thing we forgot here that inside this field we need to make this contact id is equal to the upsort because these values are already present there and this needs to be required for the upsort so that it will update the contact details okay so this is working now we can see that it is updating now if i will refresh this again it was acme because it is the previous tab i closed that one which is having that at the rate gmail.com so you can see now it is at the rate acme.com okay that means the first thing here is working let's go back to this one and let's work on this one more thing i forgot to tell you that this data raptor how we are passing that data we are passing that data using this thing send json path which is having this step contacts and block update primary contact so inside this json it is using these step contacts and block update primary contact so it is passing this data and for the second one we have the change primary contact the execution conditional formula we have already changed one more thing we have to notice here that the json path here is different this is not what we have in the json path 
so we have in the json path is step contact block change primary contact that is the step contact block change primary contact and inside this we have ta name block so let's copy this ta name block and here we have the ta change contact block so instead of this one we have to use our naming convention that is the ta name block now it will pass the data which we have okay so let's create the data wrapper for this one so i will create a new one that is the dr change so inside this change one what we are going to do we are getting some contact detail and using the lookup we are changing the id of the contact inside the account okay so if you want to change the primary contact we need to edit that lookup field inside the account so we need to make modification on the account so we will select the object as account so i will select the account and i will go to the fields and here again we need the input json so we can get the input json from the ip so let's go back to this ip and uh, here we need to make some modification so let's copy this value change primary contact and let's preview this okay so if i will preview this we have here the value as of the radio is update so if i will execute it again it will execute that update data wrapper so we want the change so i will change it to the block change primary contact so that this will use the second data wrapper so if i will execute it on the right hand side we need to check the input so we need to go to the debug if i will go to the debug here you can see that we have this input and i need to copy this whole input from here so this is the whole input i will copy this and i will go back to this data wrapper and i need to paste it here so one thing you need to see here is we want to change the value of the account but we don't have the account id we have only the contact id so if we don't have the account id we cannot make any modification on the account object so for that thing we need to go to this ip we need to go to the properties and inside this we need to send the additional input so inside this additional input we need to use the account id as the account id inside the value we need to use the merge operator and it will be equal to account id now let's preview it again if i will preview it again you can see that there is no account id here in the input but if i will execute it again it will have that account id so let's go back to this one if i will use this so you can see that inside this input we have the account id so we need to use this json so i will copy this json from here now and if i will go back to this data wrapper and i need to paste it here so we have this account id so we can make any modification inside the account object so i will just quickly match it because this account id is equal to the id of the account so i will use the account id is equal to id of the account and we have this contact id which is equal to the primary contact id so i will use the primary contact id so i need to search for that change primary contact of the velocity one so here we have the primary contact id so i will select this one and i will use this contact id as this okay and then i will save it so we want to make the changes in the account so i will select this account and i will mark this as absurd and required for absurd and if i will preview it again and here i need to use this one okay so and here so one thing you will notice here that this is the account of the acme okay and this is the id what we have selected inside that one inside this omni script we have selected some other thing let's me go back to this and we have selected the howard jones okay so if i will execute it here 
that is the Howard zone. If I will execute it here, it will change the primary contact to the Howard zone because initially it was Leanne Tomlin. So let me execute it again. You can see that it is returning the account object after changing that primary contact. So how we can check that whether it is changed or not. Let me go back to this one. So inside this update, we, we can see that this is the Leanne Tomlin. Now, if I will refresh this, it should be changed to the Howard Jones from the Leanne Tomlin. So you can see this primary contact is uh, the Howard Jones now. That is not the Leanne Tomlin. So this means that this data raptor is working. If I will change this contact ID to the Leanne Tomlin, again it will change the primary contact to the Leanne Tomlin. That thing we can do using the type ahead inside this Omni script. So for now this data raptor is also working. So I will go back to this IP and we need to work on this last data raptor post. So let's create this data raptor post. So we have to create a new one which will create data raptor create. So we are using the create primary contact. So first thing we need to do is we need to create a contact and after creating that contact we need to use that ID of the contact and we need to set the account. We need to go back to that account and we need to change that ID to the one which we have created. So first thing I have to use is the contact object. So I will select the contact and after creating this contact we need to link this contact id to the account so i will use the another object which is the account so i will select here the account object after selecting the account we have an option here that is the link that is the add link so we want the second thing to be executed only after the first thing is executed so this is the first that is the contact and this is the second for the account so we need to add a link and that link will be on the account object and the field will be so what is the field for the lookup on the account that is the primary contact so we have to use the primary contact id and the linked object will be the only thing that after creating the contact we are setting up the account so the linked object will be the contact and the value for this one will be the id for that contact because we want to set the primary contact id as the id of the contact so i will select this id okay so this all linking is done here so first of all it will create the contact then after creating the contact it will go back to that account and then it will set the primary contact id as the id of this contact now let's go to the fields inside this fields we have two options that is the contact and the account okay this account where we are setting this velocity primary contact id and this all will see everything okay so for this one also we need to use the input json so here two thing is there that is the we need the two account id one for the contact because inside this contact we need to set up the lookup for the account id and inside this account id we need we need to have that account id so that we can make the changes inside this so let's go back to this integration procedure and inside this additional input i will pass account id as the same thing that is the using the merge operator and we have to pass the account id okay we are passing this account id let me copy this again and I will add another thing here with the same value because we are going to use the same thing twice and inside this I will use the contact contact account ID and to get the whole JSON we need to go back to this preview and we need to change this change to the create so that it will execute the last data raptor so let's execute it again so we are getting some error here. Let me go back to this one because we have not set up anything. So it is showing any error. So I need to use this whole input here. So I will select all this data from here and I will go back to this and I have to use the same JSON here. Okay, now let's go to the quick match. 
so here we have the value for the account and the contact so these are for the contact so we have the email first name and last name so let's use the email for the contact so i will match it with the contact email we have the last name contact last name so i will use the contact last name and the first name so i will use it here and we need to use the account id so this is the account id i will use the contact account id and here we can use the id as the account id okay and then i will save it let me go because this thing we are creating a new so we don't need to mark anything as absurd but inside this account we are setting this id we are editing this one so we can use this as absurd so i will mark it as absurd and i will make it as required for absurd now if i will preview this with the new data json you can see that we are creating this new contact okay that is the a@gmail.com last name as let's change it to my name as rakesh and the first name as tech okay so if i will change it what will happen let's execute this it will return two things first thing is account and the second is contact so first of all it will create the contact so let me open this contact and let me open this account also so first thing let's see this contact so you can see this contact is now created with the account name as acme because we have used the same account id for the account so this is showing as acme the email what we have selected okay so let's go back to this acme if i will use this acme and if i will go to the details you can see here the primary contact will be the tech rakesh so the primary contact is now tech rakesh the same thing you can verify using this one this one also if i will like refresh this again instead of the howard jones it will show the tech rakesh you can see now it is showing the tech rakesh so this means that this data raptor is also working and this whole ip is now working correctly now from here also if i will execute it again it will create a new like contact with the aa and axa and it will set this as the primary contact so let's go to the properties this whole thing is working so i will activate it again i will save it and activate it now let's verify the whole thing using this omni script so let's clear all the data from here let's go to the design and again we will open the same thing using the preview so you can see the primary contact name is now tech rakesh and email id is this so now let's change it tech rakesh at the gmail.com so if i will click on the next it will update the details of the contact okay so if i will refresh this again the email id will be changed now you can see the email id is now edited and if i will go to the second one which is the change primary contact the primary contact now is the tech rakesh so if i will select this one and if i will use again the lian tom lian and if i will press the next button again it will set up the primary contact as lian tom lian so let's refresh it again so it should be changed from tech rakesh to the lian tom lian you can see now the change primary contact is now changed and if i will use the last one to create a new one so let's use the subscriber and the last name is subscribed and i will use the email id as s at the rate g dot c okay so if i will click next it will create a new contact and then it will set that contact as the primary contact for that account so if i will refresh it again it should be subscriber you can see now the primary contact is sub subscribed that means the whole omni script is now working and all the functionalities like update primary contact change primary contact and create primary contact is working correctly so let's activate this version now let's open that account card here we can add this whole omni script as a action inside this menu so for that thing we need to deactivate this flex card 
and we need to go to this menu and uh, here we have to add one more menu let's add a new action so that action is basically the omni script so i will use the omni script and the label will be the change primary contact okay the icon let it be the standard one so the omni script name is team update account primary contact okay so it will be always in the form of the type subtype and the language so the type is team subtype is the update primary contact and the language is english so we can also provide the tab label or tab icon let's leave that and we can use the context id and that will be equal to the account id okay so let's make this on a new tab or window and let's save this after saving this we have to activate this one let's go to our console and we need to refresh this so that the changes will reflect here so if you will click on this menu you can see this change primary contact is now coming and if i will click on this one it will open the same omni script in a new tab okay the same omni script is now working with all these steps so we have this update so what we can do is so you can see the same thing is working here also the primary contact is sub subscribed so it is showing this let's change this value so i will make it as at the red g.com if i will press next it will save that and it will come here okay so if i will use it again change primary contact so there should be the updated value so you can see it is now dot com if i will go to the change primary contact if i will select any other thing you can see i can select the tech rakesh there is no phone for the tech rakesh that's why it is blank and if i will click on the next it will set up the primary contact as tech rakesh so you can see here it is showing the sub subscribed so for this to be changed we need to refresh this page after refreshing you can see it is now showing the tech rakesh now let's change check the last functionality also so if i will go to the create contact we have to create a new one we can use anything like this and we can use the next button so it will create and then it will set that as primary contact so this should be now rakesh kumar so you can see now it is showing as rakesh kumar the same thing will work for the eric bishop and for the other accounts also so that's it for this video if you find this video helpful please like the video if you have any queries you can comment out i will try to figure out to each and every comment and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel